In this new era, which is beginning now in our center, we're going to store cord bloods in a public bank that's available to all Americans who need that blood. There are a few big advantages to cord blood for transplantation. And one of the biggest advantages is you don't need an exact match. And this is especially important for individuals who are from minority groups where there's not a large pool of potential donors. The bone marrow search was, was pretty bad. Genetically, trying to find a match for me was astronomically impossible. And so the next thing was cord blood. As a parent, the darkest moment you can ever have is um, to get that call that your child has a disease that can take their life. I, I can't think of any darker moment. Um, and what you need at that point is hope. And cord bloods provide hope. Well, I am fortunate that I have the opportunity to take care of patients who have benefited and have had successful cord blood transplantation. I just feel so grateful that the timing worked out um, where we just started the program and uh, Gabriel was born and we were able to donate successfully. We all have this sort of little vision of these five-year-old, seven-year-old little girls and boys that are running around playing and not knowing that they saved somebody's life. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> because I think about my patients and they had no matching donor. They had no other option. And so they were saved by cord blood. I would really just reach out to any parent that was even remotely considering this, to, to just say, hey, give somebody else a chance. That same material can, can save a life, can save a life like Darren's, can save life for countless others.